Hi everybody, welcome to Queer Girl Straight Skates. I'm Rebel, and today we are going to put together what I believe are going to be a pretty frickin' spectacular pair of dance skates. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take the skates that I have right now, which are these guys, which are my Moxie Jack boots, and I am going to take these and turn them into a amazing outdoor dance skate. Now these, I could already skate outdoors with them, but I got a couple things for Christmas that I'm so excited about, so we're gonna revamp this and change around the setup. And the way we're gonna do that is we are going to change into these new wheels that I got. These are the Radar Crush wheels. They are a very small, outdoor wheel and they are created specifically for outdoor dance skating so they are a 48 let me see they're an 84a hardness and they are a 48 millimeter width so we're going to put those on and then we are also going to put on these quick swiss bearings so we're going to put the swiss bearings inside of the new wheels and we're going to put those on the skates and then of course to match these beautiful wheels, we are going to use some new laces. So, let's get to it. Queer Girl Straight Skates! Queer Girl Straight Skates is a YouTube channel all about roller skating. So if you love roller skating, or if you're interested in roller skating, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can get notified when I post, which is every Tuesday. And head on over to cheersofthequeers.com because you can support this channel by shopping at my shop where I have cool roller skate accessories and other accessories that you can get for yourself or roller skaters or non-roller skaters in your life. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pr pull out this trusty table right here and we're gonna pull out these skates. Whoa. <laughs> um, they are the Red Jack One Moxie skates. I'm going to take them apart not fully take them apart, but I am gonna take the laces, I'm gonna take the wheels off, and we're just gonna make these skates naked real quick. So it'll be two hops and a skip for you. And voila, we have some naked skates. So what we're gonna do is, the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna put the skates aside for a second, and we're going to put these Swiss bearing bad boys into these crush wheels and the way we're going to do that is we're going to use this handy dandy bearing press bearing presses are awesome there are so many different kinds of bearing presses today i'm going to show you how to use it what we're going to do is we're going to take one bearing so you're going to take it out of here and you're going to pull this guy up put a bearing on here then you're going to put a wheel on it then you'll put another bearing with the uh, ball part facing into the inside of the wheel. You're gonna put it on top so it's like a wheel sandwich. Then you'll put it down. You're gonna hold this crank and press. You're gonna make it sure it's aligned and then press. And then it's that easy. Your wheels have bearings in them. So you'll take a bearing and this side goes up. So you'll place it onto there. Then you'll take a wheel and you will place it on. And then you will take another bearing. I'm gonna pull one out here. And this ball side is gonna go down on top. So you have a little bearing sandwich. Once you're at that point, you're gonna go like that. Make sure it's aligned and then press down. Then we have a wheel with a bearing in it, yay! So we're gonna do that with all the wheels. All right, so I'm gonna finish putting all of the bearings in the wheels right now. I actually really like this part. I used to not like putting bearings in wheels because I thought it was like a pain, and it is, but when you have a bearing press, it just is so much easier. It doesn't feel like a pain at all, and it feels a little fun. So for me, I enjoy this part. And also, it just makes me very excited, especially when I have really nice new bearings like these, which I'm so, so, so excited about. 
because they are going to be so fast and make me feel like a quick little skater. <laughs> They're opening up the second pack of the Radar Wheels and everything has like a little bit of a pink hue to it because I just got this sign. Actually, it's not even my sign. It's shove sign, but it's right up here and it says good vibes, but it's pink. So it's emitting pink light. So everything is pink right now. So sorry if you're like, what color are those wheels? They are lavender. So they just might look a little pinky right now. Okay, put in some, it's very holiday-esque around here still. I'm um, not gonna lie, I love the holidays. I am a big fan of the holidays. Shove is medium about the holidays, puts up with them for my sake. I, on the other hand, am fully obsessed with the holidays. They make me so happy, I love them, and <laughs> Yeah, I actually, you know what? I The one holiday that I never really got because I never got to celebrate it as a kid was Halloween. And that's Shove's favorite holiday. So when we first got together, she was like, hell yeah, Halloween. And I was like, Halloween? I don't really understand like anything about it really. Um, and then I started doing all this stuff to celebrate Halloween. And she was like, okay, I guess since you love Halloween now and you celebrate Halloween and do all the stuff, I should probably love Christmas or try and love Christmas. Or at least that's the narrative that I'm telling myself. It could just be a happy wife, happy life scenario. Not sure. But anyways, I love her and I love celebrating with her. And she's the one that got me these wheels and bearings. So yay. And then just like that, all our wheels and bearings are ready. So I'm gonna put this away and bust out my skates. One of these days, I have a friend who I really want her to paint my skates, and she's going to, but I keep forgetting to send my skates to her, so eventually these skates are gonna look like something else, but that'll probably be in the future. So we're gonna put these wheels onto these skates. Oh my God, they are so small. I'm gonna have to check on my kingpin and make sure I don't have to shave that guy down, because I might have to because these wheels are legitimately so small. Uh, the smallest wheel I've ever had so far has been a 57 millimeter. I've never had a 48 millimeter. I've tried sliders before, and those are so small. They're, no, those are definitely the smallest that I've ever tried, and those were wild to try. Uh, they were actually, Estros and then they let me borrow them to try them out at the rink and Talk about it's just a fully different. It's a different type of skating like it's so much control that you have to have and like Letting yourself glide but then being in control over that glide like it is wild. I love it but it is very hard, very difficult, <laughs> very impressive. So if you see people using sliders at the rink and if you see people just like slaying it on those sliders, just know that they're really, really, really freaking good skaters. Like really good skaters. I always learn things when I go to the rink. Every single time I go to the rink, I learn something new. Just by watching people who are so freaking talented. Anyways, that was fast. Oh, I think we're gonna be good on the kingpin. I was worried, but we are totally fine. So we've got the wheels on there. They look great. Oh my gosh, let's do the next skate. Oh man, this is an exciting time. I have, when I tell you I've been wanting outdoor dance wheels, I have tried a bunch of different things, but I always end up wearing just wheels that I would not choose. Like they were never, it was never first priority dance skating outside. It was always like, oh, these will work, I guess, for dance skating outside, which is fine. But I really wanna start prioritizing that as something that I really work on in my skating. And so I felt like it was time for me to not just be like, oh yeah, these are wheels I guess will work. I typically use them for a skate park for park skating, but I guess they'll work for dance skating. Like I wanted to have wheels that were straight up for what I wanted to spend time practicing. So this is a big deal and I am very, 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 very excited. 
I'm definitely still in the process of learning a lot of dance stuff and I'm also definitely still in the process of figuring out what exact tools I like or accessories that I prefer on my skates like what my dance my go-to dance setup is still learning so even when you've been skating for five years like me you learn new things all the time especially when you're doing different types of skating which I think is the reason why roller skating has kept my interest for so long with my ADHD is that there's so many different types of skating that you can do all right so this is the setup so far these are the reactor neo plates I have jam plugs I have the hard plastic jam plugs and then I have the Swiss bearings and the radar crush wheels on and then what I'm going to put on next is these core lavender derby laces I got the laces from cheers to the quarters.com I think that the crush wheels I think they're sold out right now but I'm pretty sure that they came from pigeon skate shop and uh the Swiss bearings they may have come from moxyskates.com I don't actually know because I got them as a Christmas present from Shove. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna lace up my skates now. If you wanna learn how to lace up your skates, you can actually lace them up in a bunch of different ways. So there is the like standard way that your skates come laced. But if you wanna lace your skate in different ways according to what you need, as a skater, like if you need more arch support or if you need more, um, if you need your heel to be kept into the skate or if you have tightness around the front, like in the toe box or any of those issues, you should try, watch this video, but you should try some different lacing techniques. In a video I taught different lacing techniques because I just think it's so helpful because a lot of times we think that there's something wrong with a skate, but a lot of times it's just the way that the skate is set up. We just need to adjust it a little bit so that it's better and more personalized for us. Because the way I like my skates isn't necessarily going to be the way that you like your skates. And the way that you like your skates may be great for you and it might not be the way I like my skates. So everything in roller skating is personalized particularly the roller skate setup. It's not like there's one way of lacing or one type of wheels that make you magically super good. There are wheels and different parts of the skate that will be more helpful to you based off of your style of skating or the type of skating that you want to do. Um, and then there are definitely like higher quality products as well, but everything is so personal in roller skating that's why you have to try so many things out like you can't just say oh well rebel said this or you know whatever other person i look up to said this so it must be right it's like yeah we are right about a lot of things but also there's a lot of things that it's really up to you how you like it and what kind of skating you're trying to do so take all those things into consideration all right oh my god i am fully obsessed with this oh my god I cannot wait to take this out skating okay let me do this other one really quick perfection they're done yay oh my gosh look at these these look so good I'm totally obsessed with how they turned out thanks for upgrading my roller skates with me and making my outdoor dance setup absolutely perfect. I can't wait to try these out. I'll let you know how it goes. But for today, have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Queer Girl Straight Skates. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And head on over to cheersthequeers.com to get yourself some roller skate accessories or other cool accessories for you or your roller skate friends or your non-roller skate friends. But most importantly, cheers to the queers! Yay, let's go roller skate.